Hi, this is Nell, illustrator slash animator slash 3D printing enthusiast and now amateur jewelry designer. In a previous chapter, I mentioned I'm using Death Stranding as a theme of the year, and just like the proverbial kindergartner gets a star sticker in the forehead for good conduct, I am giving myself a star for each personal project I complete. This is star number 20. The first thing I did was to gather a screenshot of the game as a reference and brought it into Photoshop, then created a square, rotated it to make it a rhombus, and then cut the carrying gear device from the reference pic to later modify it to fit the inverted triangle shape using perspective work. It was still slightly in perspective, so what I did was to map the main shapes of one half, drew over them, and then mirror the strokes so I could get a symmetrical result. Once I got the image reference ready, I bought it to Blender and 3D model it. My Blender experience at this point was not precisely extensive, so I spent a lot of time doing manually what can be made quicker and cleaner by just using a modifier. But, well, fortunately, it worked at the end. Once my basic geometry was ready, I exported the OBJ file and brought it to Subbrush to add the letters in the middle. For this, I created a graphic in Photoshop to use in ZBrush as a stencil, and once done, I export the OBJ, brought it back to Blender to scale it, checked on Next Mixer to make sure it had no errors, and then brought it to Cheetobox to prepare my first batch to print. For this particular project, I used the Zero Shrinkage Resin from Power Resins, which is specifically made for jewelry. This is important, you can't use regular resin for jewelry casting, it won't work. Of course, I had to put the specific settings for this particular resin, which you find in the Power Resins website, and once done, I export my file and off to print. After three hours and a half, my batch was ready. The Power Resin prints do not need to cure, but they do require washing like any other regular resin, so all the same procedures and caution supply. Once my prints were ready, I came to the jewelry center of my city and hired a jeweler to cast my prints into metal, which in this particular case was an alloy of gold, silver, copper and zinc. Unfortunately, the earrings are too small for the details of the letters in the center to come across, even from the printing stage, but the main shape was achieved. After getting my pieces, I took them to another workshop to have them coated in gun black rhodium and gold. Then changed the holder in place kind of thingy for another, a little bit more fitting for a futuristic theme. For the Kyralim version, I complemented the design with elements I bought from Aliexpress and put together a chain and a cubic circuit to loosely follow the Kyral crystal theme while keeping it jewelry like. And finally, this was the result. If you want to create yours, there is a link to the OBJ file in the description. Have a wonderful day!